Yo, I am Dr. Cool. In a world increasingly desperate for sustainable solutions, true innovation often comes from the most unexpected places. It often don't come it through the front door like a gentleman, but from the back it doesn't knock. It brutally destroys the door and sending the entire occupants into terror and panic mode. That is exactly how the West are feeling ever since 2025. One such revolutionary breakthrough has emerged not from Silicon Valley, Berlin or Tokyo, but from Zimbabwe. Wakanda, oh Wakanda, the greatest and most feared race on Earth. An African nation frequently sidelined in global discussions around science and technology. Yet, it is here that Maxwell Chikambuzo, a self-taught inventor, has developed a world first, a self-powered TV, a device that runs independently without being plugged into the power grid. Skeptics argued there is stacked lithium batteries hidden inside the bad cover of the Sony TV he used. However, Africans knows the truth. The Western hypocrites and racist will not hide their true colors. This isn't science fiction. This isn't greenwashing like the Western politicians has been flooding every nooks and crannies with outdated technology to control every rat and mice. This is a real, functioning prototype of technology that appears to be centuries, if not millennia, ahead of its time. And the world is now watching with destructive and abusive skepticism. However, they West are shocked African didn't dance along this time. Zimbabwe, a country more often associated in the global media with economic challenges and political turmoil. Economic sanctioned enough to make sharks in Atlanta want to go ballistic to protect Zimbabwe land flowing with gold, platinum, lithium and you name it. I begin to see the reason behind the facade about the hate in geopolitics. Yes, you heard me right. Zimbabwe is now the unlikely home to an invention that challenges the entire foundation of modern energy science. For decades, Africa has been painted as a consumer of technology, rarely its creator, but Chikambutso's work turns that narrative on its head. His self-powered TV, powered by a miniature version of a microsonic energy device, represents not just an invention, but an aggressive rebellion to conventional scientific wisdom. The TV operates without any external power source, battery or solar panel. It runs solely on a unique energy harvesting system that captures and amplifies ambient radio frequencies in the environment. Technology 3,000 years ahead of humanity time. At some point, the Western kids have to coin Maxwell as new Nikolai Tesla. However, that would be an added injury, as Maxwell Chikambutso is far ahead of Nikolai Tesla. That will be story if another day I will be dropping soon to set the record straight. This small, unassuming device could disrupt multiple trillion-dollar industries from home electronics and transportation to renewable energy and aerospace. The core of this innovation lies in what Chikumbutso calls the microsonic energy device. It is a tailor-made module that captures electromagnetic frequencies from the air, frequencies already surrounding us through radio, cellular and other wireless signals, and amplifies them into usable DC voltage. That voltage is then converted into AC power, which can run household appliances, vehicles, aircraft and in this case a television set. Validation and Skepticism This is not a new age trick or sleight of hand. The device has been peer reviewed. In 2015, two respected scientists from California, an established researcher and a specialist in electromagnetic sciences, conducted independent tests on Chikumbutso's technology. According to reports, the results were nothing short of mind blowing. They confirmed that the system generated real, measurable power from a source that could not be traced or detected by conventional scientific instruments. Even the most advanced tools and diagnostic equipment used in Western labs failed to pinpoint the true origin of the energy. That is the brutality of this revolutionary invention of Maxwell Chikumbutso. It was as if the device was violating one of the most sacred laws of physics, conservation of energy. It's not violation, actually. It cooked that law and tossed it right out of the window, considering the fact that this Africa genius isn't MIT or Harvard graduate, not even a graduate of miseducation colleges in Africa further underscoring the fears of the Western big corporations, scientists and engineers, a high school junior secondary two did what Albert Einstein, Nikolai Tesla, and the WHO United Nations of Western. Big scientists who put physics and maths as the god of education and guidance of innovations. This, my friend, is the scary path they don't want to deal with fueling more gasoline into the fire to create doubt and disbelief. This naturally caused a wave of skepticism, confusion, and in some quarters, fear. To prove the functionality of his invention, Chikumbutso released a public demonstration where he powered a Sony TV using the self-contained microsonic energy device. The TV powered on and functioned without being plugged in or connected to any visible power source. 
To prove the functionality of his invention, Chikumbutso released a public demonstration where he powered a Sony TV using the self-contained microsonic energy device. The TV powered on and functioned without being plugged in or connected to any visible power source. Here is a video clip from the said event that its potential is turning heads, its technology is brutally disruptive and shutting down the internet. Uh, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed. The first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there is no power as you can see. The television is, it is working as it is. So in Lyman, I think this television is a, we can call it a, a self-powered television. It is indeed an exciting innovation that comes in handy for households without electricity and even so a relief to many in the event of power outages. Chikumbuso continues to fly the Zimbabwean flag high in the world of innovation and this latest offering will put the country's map at the forefront of technological transformation. Owen Mundova ZB News, Harare. This wasn't a sleight of hand performed on a TED stage or a concept sketch from a think tank. This was a working device in real world conditions. Viewers and engineers alike were stunned. The implications are enormous. If a single device can capture enough ambient energy to power a television, it could be scaled up to power homes, buildings, vehicles, even entire cities. Think about the impact that could have on off-grid communities across Africa, Asia and the rest of the developing world where access to stable electricity remains a daily challenge. The arrival of this technology has sent shockwaves through the energy and automotive sectors. Companies that have spent billions on solar, wind and battery tech are reportedly scrambling to reassess their long-term strategies. Behind closed doors, emergency meetings are happening, stakeholders are asking hard questions. How do we react if this is real? What happens to our business model? The arrival of this technology has sent shockwaves through the energy and automotive sectors. Companies that have spent billions on solar, wind and battery tech are reportedly scrambling to reassess their long-term strategies. Behind closed doors, emergency meetings are happening, stakeholders are asking hard questions. How do we react if this is real? What happens to our business model? Skeptics, meanwhile, are sweating bullets and pooping gunpowder. That's not hyperbole. It's a reflection of the existential threat this poses to the current world order. From oil giants to renewable energy firms to governments heavily invested in centralized power grids, this is a technology that could completely decentralize power generation. Anyone, anywhere could generate their own electricity, cleanly, continuously and independently. Predictably, Western scientific authorities have rushed to label Chikumbutso's invention as perpetual motion a term long used to discredit technologies that appear to defy known laws of physics. The idea of a machine generating continuous energy without fuel or loss is still widely regarded as a scientific impossibility, but that classification itself is increasingly being questioned. Predictably, Western scientific authorities have rushed to label Chikumbutso's invention as perpetual motion, a term long used to discredit technologies that appear to defy known laws of physics. The idea of a machine generating continuous energy without fuel or loss is still widely regarded as a scientific impossibility, but that classification itself is increasingly being questioned. After all, wasn't the Wright brothers' first flight once deemed impossible? Didn't early computers seem impractical? Isn't history filled with examples of scientific dogma resisting disruptive innovation, only to eventually embrace it once overwhelming evidence came to light? In this case, the resistance seems less about science and more about control. A world where energy is free, clean and individually harnessed threatens not just industry profits but geopolitical influence. In this case, the resistance seems less about science and more about control. A world where energy is free, clean and individually harnessed 
threatens not just industry profits but geopolitical influence. Now imagine the potential this technology holds in solving the climate crisis. No carbon emissions, no fuel, no mining of rare earth metals, no lithium batteries, just clean limitless energy from the air. This could accelerate humanity's shift away from fossil fuels more dramatically than solar or wind ever could. And this isn't greenwashing, this isn't a PR stunt by a global energy corporation. This is a homegrown invention from a determined African innovator who has faced ridicule, mockery and sabotage yet still forged ahead. And this isn't greenwashing, this isn't a PR stunt by a global energy corporation. This is a homegrown invention from a determined African innovator who has faced ridicule, mockery and sabotage yet still forged ahead. While many Western green energy initiatives have been exposed as little more than snake oil, marketing illusions filled with over-promising and under-delivering, Chikumbutso's work stands out as authentic, raw innovation. It wasn't bankrolled by billion-dollar investors. It wasn't born in a think tank. It was created out of necessity, brilliance and vision. Yet, unsurprisingly, barriers are already being erected. Regulatory bodies are hesitant, patents are delayed or denied, government officials are being pressured. There's an all-too-familiar playbook in place, one that seeks to bury disruptive technology under mountains of red tape. Yet, unsurprisingly, barriers are already being erected. Regulatory bodies are hesitant, patents are delayed or denied, government officials are being pressured. There's an all-too-familiar playbook in place, one that seeks to bury disruptive technology under mountains of red tape. And so we ask, is the law more important than the future of the planet? Must we cling to outdated regulations at the expense of human progress? The suppression of such transformative ideas isn't new. Many inventors in history, from Nikola Tesla to Stanley Meyer, faced similar resistance. The only difference now is that the world is more connected, more informed, and perhaps more desperate for answers than ever before. The suppression of such transformative ideas isn't new. Many inventors in history, from Nikola Tesla to Stanley Meyer, faced similar resistance. The only difference now is that the world is more connected, more informed, and perhaps more desperate for answers than ever before. What makes this story even more powerful is where it comes from. For far too long, Africa has been painted as a passive recipient in the global technological landscape. Chikumbutso is changing that perception in real time. This isn't just about a TV or a power source. This is about reclaiming the narrative. This is about showing the world that genius exists everywhere, that innovation doesn't care about geography, wealth or skin color. Wakanda is coming, and the world should brace for impact as they are more innovation-bagged with more disruptive ballistic punch coming from Wakanda, enough to make Mike Tyson uppercut look like opening act. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Thanks for watching and keeping up the positive vibes. Now, if you will excuse me, my friends, I have a flight to catch, and even more importantly, a self-powered car from Africa to drive. I will see you soon in my next videos. Wakanda is back.